Aiko it has been your moon too. A human being is a human being. There is never a right off of a human being. No matter how many crimes they've created, no matter how many wrongs they might have done to society, no matter how much alcohol they might have been drinking to destroy their own lives, no matter how many drugs they might have taken to destroy their own lives, no matter how much mess they might have put themselves into, no matter how much sin that might have caused the community there is no cause for anybody to be thrown into a dustbin there is no such a thing as a human dustbin a human being is ultimately a living temple of god this body of ours is a temple right as they'd say but our consciousness lives in this thing that's why we gotta look after it going to the gym at my age for me now is no longer even a choice or a, a, a something nice that one has to do or I'm training because I want to lose weight or I'm training because I want to look like or I want to get a six pack no it's a must because the older you are becoming but at the same time this thing is carrying your consciousness the more you you fail sorry the more you fail to look after your health the more you are depriving of your yourself your own children of your long life and the more you're depriving depriving your children of your long life you are depriving obviously yourself of a long life and you are depriving yourself of an opportunity to see your children grow for longer years because why because you have not taken advantage taken advantage of um, looking after your health and that's the most important thing that you can do great health is the most amazing wealth you can ever attain in this lifetime kudos to everybody that looks after their health and they understand the importance of um a a, a fit um body looking after yourself staying healthy training jogging eating healthy looking after yourself extremely important but there's other people who don't do that there's other people who also don't even live by the values that they were brought up under they turn to become these monsters. They terrorize their community or they even terrorize themselves. Maybe they're not even a criminal, but they maybe smoke nya ope, but hangege umlache umuntu kankulunkulu. Umuntu kankulunkulu, umuntu kankulunkulu. And umuntu no muntu ya I do know there's others where you you put in your effort to try and help this person change their life, but they just don't change. Others have even been to prison for rehabilitation, but they've never been rehabilitated because maybe they come back to, si to society worse off than they've ever been. But there has never been a dustbin for a human being. Umuntu no muntu uzo But when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. There will be a day when this person will change their life. How many stories have you ever heard of people changing their lives? Either maybe because they used to go to church frequently maybe somebody summoned them to their mentor somebody spoke sent into their mind or they went to church the one day and they just heard of this amazing scripture or amazing service that was delivered delivered by this pastor and they d decided to hand over their lives or give their lives over at church or something happens that just that just inspires them to become a different human being that happens all the time. And my message to you is, don't paint human beings with the same brush. And don't go according to society and cancel people. Always have faith and believe. But yes, there's others whom, when they're still going through the most, when they haven't changed, you have to give them tough love. There's others that you have to, you know, put them over there at arm's length. But you can still love them from a bit of a distance because when they're still going through what they're going through maybe they might be toxic at the at the time but especially if they are your family if they are your family member they're your sibling they're your brother they're your father they're your mother your uncle your son your daughter your niece your nephew your cousin family comes first family comes first that's why i did a video the other day and i said there's no such a thing called black tax when are you forgotten about all these people that used to give you imali takes you you've forgotten about all these people that are niggas are my lift that they're not doing their homework that they're not coolies that they're not mentor that niggas are advising that they're not doing their homework that they're not coolies
they were there for you when you needed them they they helped you with your cv even they others even borrowed you their clothes others even housed you for a couple of months in their own apartments or their own homes when you had no home of your own others even borrowed you their clothes you've forgotten all, all those people just because you're now doing well now you you come with all these great um perspectives on on why there shouldn't be such a thing why does even even the word black tax anyway i just wanted to say um and that's an ancient old African principle. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Always remember that. There's never a dustbin for a human being.